Hey guys, welcome back to my Final Fantasy Team playthrough. Uh, during the last part, we fought a giant robot. Waka was incredibly racist, and we actually got Riku back in the party. So, uh, thanks to my little um, EXP cheat, I was able to get uh, Riku some decent stats. So now she also has like luck and spare change, both abilities I probably won't end up using. And of course, Paul Kamari is um, not going to get used much since I have like it. Someone who can actually use steel, use and you know actually use those items for uh, useful shit. But yeah, I'm going to be keeping Riku in the party for a while because you know, even though I've gotten uh, increased her stats quite a bit, um, she um, still really needs, you know, she really needs to keep up with the rest of the party. And you know what? Let's switch an Orin. Let's see. Enough. Hmm. That's how it's done. Oh no, by Makalania, this is basically my party. Like, uh, Tidus, Orin, and Riku. Yeah, so, like, Riku's not really good, like, uh, physically. And, you know, she doesn't really have that much magic power, uh, at this point, either. Oh, you know what? Let's show off the energy ring. Hmm. So yeah, all she, Riku, like once you get Riku, all she's really good for oh, is right. just stealing items and then using them, so... Uh, yeah. Like it'll be, like, uh, she's only like really... She'll only be really useful at this point if you know what uh, no mix combinations to use. Yeah, because if you try to physically... So, yeah, anyway. Um, bring in Lulu. Yeah, so I was actually hoping to um, um, hit, hit that thing and, you know, do, like, pitiful damage. Like, go, go, uh, like her uh, physical attacks are slightly higher than Yuna's, but, you know, not by much. Piece of cake. I suppose Kamari isn't totally useless, because then you can have two characters that are just stealing uh, at the start of a battle. But, uh, you know, still... Anyway, here we are at Guado Salam, which is inside of a giant tree. Which I actually didn't realize until like a couple of playthroughs. Um, you know, a couple of replays, you know. I actually thought this place was inside we have of a been cave. Expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. That's why he was helping this you out me. earlier. Whatever could it be, I wonder? Oh. Please. Come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, your friends are also welcome. I'd rather you come in alone, but hey, you can bring them along, I guess. Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, I almost forgot. Ah, yeah, now we get one of the uh, be uh, best um, things in the game, which is the customize option. So basically, it's kind of... So like with the... Uh, b giving abilities to the Aeons, it's like, hey, you need to use, like, uh, you need to be stealing, like, items and then, um, you know, using them on weapons that have empty, uh, slots. So yeah, this is like, hey, you can, uh, use, like, a bunch of bomb fragments to, uh, get a fire sword. What would you do without me? And you actually have to do, uh, use the customization option in order to get the best equipment in the game, like, um, you know, like this, for example. Yeah, so...
auto phoenix, auto med. Uh, auto meds, uh, thing is that, yeah, as it says right there, automatically use items to cure status ailments. Unless it's like petrification, because, uh, other, yeah, that's when the ability won't kick in. You have to um, get another character to heal that manually. And let's give Riku a, uh, another stat boost. Okay. So anyway, let's go see what uh, Seymour wants. Yeah, so of course we have this ominous music playing, and this is actually when I, when I finally started catching on to the fact that Seymour wasn't actually a really good person. Why does he want to see me? Like seriously, this. Why does he want? Shut up. Uh, yeah, this atmosphere like really made that apparent. Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. Uh, shh. Careful, Kimari. He could hear you. I wonder what smells so nice. Stay close to Yuna. Yeah, sure. Like the warning Kimari signs are right here. No more. So. I don't like the smell of this one, eh? Mm. These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, no. Don't you know? No. The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. It is cool that these pictures aren't like annoyingly pixelated. Like they actually upscaled them. The last lead. Oh yeah. Mr. Jiskel. Okay, great. So after all that, if you approach the door, uh, Trommel will come up and, and like. This way, please. Yeah. You can talk to Trommel again, and he'll just uh, repeat what he said before. This way, please. But I don't want to go in there. I want to come over here. Yeah, you actually can never go in there. Not like there's anything uh, to uh, really look at in there. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. Okay. Take your time, I guess. Okay, so let's talk to Yuna again. What could it be? Oh. Yeah. Kimari, speak no more. Mmm, this is good. Oh uh, yeah. Why do we sure know how to eat? Yeah, this. Yeah, it's all. Uh, look at it. They're they're just two D objects. And this is one of the few times where they remember. Hey, these people need to eat. I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. Indeed. All right. So if you, in order to progress, you can just talk to Lulu or Oren in any order. Uh, I'll talk to Lulu first. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. Gee, thank you, Miss Exposition. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question, and you're explaining things. <laughs> You'd rather I say nothing then? No, no. Besides, I knew maybe you were gonna ask something anyway. I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin too? Well, there are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkind is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Why don't you eat something? I can't. The game's not giving me the option to eat anything. Oh well. What do you got to say, Oren? Stay on your guard. Why? This guy's just a priest, right? <laughs> Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Weren't you listening Wait. to Waka on the on the shoe path? Sure you don't have something against Yevon. <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. Oh, that explains things, totally. Ah, oh, 
Fuck that sprite. <laughs> Truly, it is good to have guests again. Now, if only you guys weren't playing Since this ominous Lord music. Since Lord passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. Aww. But now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a Guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough, Trommel. Must I always endure such praise? Everyone is always calling me the Messiah. It gets quite tiring after a while. Welcome! You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. <laughs> Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. Okay, but could you button up your kimono first? It's still bothering me. Pretty, isn't it? This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Hey, look at Xanarkand. Now everyone gets to see it. Correct. Xanarkand, as it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkand. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> Get to the point. She who? There she is. Lady Unaleska! She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And she did it and you, in, in a very skimpy outfit. Or lack thereof. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable sin. It took an unbreakable bond of love of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. Yep. Her, yeah, and that... And that bond was with her husband, Lord Zayon. I don't think we, we don't really get to learn a whole lot about the guy, though. Although, other than the fact that his cape can just disappear at will. He's probably telling her something really dirty. <laughs> oh, oh my god.
And now we're back with the with this uh, ominous music. Because, you know, Zemo wasn't creepy enough by himself. <laughs> I love how the glass just popped back into place there. Wow, your face is beat red. You okay? No. He just uh, he just uh, offered to show me his porn stash. Uh, uh, he he asked me to marry him. Oh yeah, that too. Are you serious? Uh, hey. You know what Yuna must do. Of course, Lady Yuna. No, all summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. Mm -hmm. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. <laughs> Come on, let's go already. Why are you still here, sir? I was just leaving. I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. I love how Titus just decides to walk over and just starts sniffing him like a dog. Fuck out of the way. Alright, and with that, we never need to come back in here ever again. Yuna, the High Summoner's daughter. Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. Sounds too it good to be true. It would something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Mm. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? <laughs> what? No way. We gotta defeat Sin. Romance can wait. Indeed. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married <laughs> would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this, but I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right. I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat sin. Like Braska before you. <laughs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the far plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Like always. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? Well, we'll discuss that after the far plane. But first, let's come in here and go and steal some items. I mean, to be fair, you guys all... You guys do all look the same. Yeah, great. Give me your items. 3,000 gil. Oh, hey, look, another instance where someone actually says Titus' name. come in here you can actually um, 
Yeah, you actually have two merchants. You have Awaka and then this guy. Ah. Oh. Got anything? Thank you. Let's see. What do you got? Water strike and lightning strike. Probably shouldn't get either of those. Uh, fa Fatal KG seems tempting, but uh, you probably shouldn't get that. Uh, I totally recommend getting this as well as this. Uh, I wouldn't bother getting uh, the yellow shield though. But uh, yeah, you can get the other stuff if you want. Yeah, thanks. What do you have to say, Owaka? Let's chat. I tell you, these Guado merchants are shrewd. Ripping off the pilgrims that come to visit the fire plane. Oh, how dare they? You watch that they don't get you too. Me, you can trust. More than a Guado, at least. What do you say? Got any items? No, oh, already bought things for you. I think this is the uh, last place where we can get an item. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> Give up the old song, it keeps in use. Okay, so... No, I think I was thinking of Final Fantasy X too, where there is a treasure chest in there. But, uh... Oh wait! Okay, now that I'm done uh, wasting time, let's go. Uh, let's go to the far plane. Sure. Question about this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls or whatever. Jesus, why were you just waving your arms around like they that? They go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. Well, that just sounds silly, doesn't it? <laughs> dead people living? You thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> You'll see once we get there. Aren't you coming? I do not belong there. <laughs> You're scared. Searching <laughs> the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the fireflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. Yeah, so it looks like it's just the five of us that'll You're be going still in. Here. See you later. Oh. Don't wait up, I guess. Now, this is one of those cutscenes that's really weird to view in um, in the Luca Theater. What the? Because it's one of these. It's one of the scenes which where it mixes like um, you know the in-game character models with a CGI cutscene. But of course, when you actually play it in the Luca Theater, like this, the uh, in-game characters actually don't appear at all, which kind of ruins the whole thing when you think about it.
Yeah, so it just looks really awkward when it just cuts to open air, like when it's supposed to be showing Titus, you know? And same here with like uh, Brasco and his wife. The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they look so happy together, but it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Um, yeah, so Kamari's not going to let you leave until uh, you chat with everyone. Uh, of course, we can't interact with Yuna at the moment because there's actually, you actually do want to interact with Waka over here, so. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up the game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. He showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on a far plane. Guess your place is here. So? How you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about? I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? Wow. Yeah, so firstly, uh, when players actually... When people actually got to this point, um, they were like, Hey, hey, remember the, that whole bit where like uh, Titus and Chapu supposedly look like? Yeah, you see them now and you realize, yeah, they don't really look that much alike, uh, alike at all, except for the faces. Just a sec more. And yeah, secondly, that uh, Titus having um, the, the Brotherhood out there, that's supposed to hence that um, it's uh, been given a power boost. So now you have Strength plus 5, Strength plus 10, Water Strike, and Sensor. Which is it. So of course you want to equip that for the next area. I actually ended up using it for uh, quite a large chunk of the game after that. You know, aside from uh, a weapon that could count. Aside from using like a customized Avenger. He is dead, and I am still alive. Because, you know, the whole 15 Coming plus strength really is uh, nothing clear. to sneeze at. I should like, focus more on what I know. have to do now. <laughs> what? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Hmm, how about mm, Waka? What, me? With Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough. Not even close. Oh, sorry. My mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Lord no knows that the writers for Final Fantasy X too did it. Someday. Yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. Oh. Uh. Why don't you try calling someone? All you have to do is think about them. Okay. So, uh, after that, now we can actually talk to Yuna. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember. When I was only seven years old, in Bavel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? Uh, uh. I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jet. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry, he won't come. She's trying not to think mm, about my pretty sure man about that. Made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is sin? What would I say to Yuna? Hey, with the garden <laughs> to going? everybody in Spira. Wait. Why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. Well, he did it have a drinking problem. Me and my mother. 
Oh, speak of the devil. Uh, Mom? It, it's her. She's very pretty. Oh. Huh. But, wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Wow, that's middle of shit. Whoa there. Uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm. It's okay. Uh, I think I just... figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. Well, let's hear it then. See, so I told him what I thought of him right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Aww. Is she alright? Why should she care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. And of course, this is shortly the after Oren has arrived in Xanarkand. When a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, just a, sec, a sec, dear. I go to him. You'll cry if you don't. So ironically, Jack had more of an impact on Titus than his mother ever did. Oh man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. At least his dad actually paid so. attention to him, you know. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Yeah, we just had a bit of a flashback finally uh, explaining Titus' daddy issues. Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. Oh! Oh, Jiska! Oh, more Jiska! Oh, uh, it's a spooky ghost. He does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. I love how Orin just collapses even though nothing's Lord happened yet. Jiskel. He is Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. <laughs> oh, he left us a present. Talk later. We leave now. What was that just now? That really Lord Disco? Uh, wait, I know. He wasn't sent, so he became a fiend, right? He <laughs> didn't look very monster-like. That he was sent once, but he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. Hmm. Ah. Okay, after that, uh, after that, um, odd cutscene, I think it's time we, uh, I stop recording for a bit, so, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.